Okay, let's talk about using NSLOOKUP. NSLOOKUP is the one tool that we use to directly interact with a DNS server. So most of the time, our communication with DNS happens in the background and the OS handles it for us. But NSLOOKUP is how we can verify the existence of NS records, test, uh, or DNS records, test um, DNS server configurations, things like that. So we're going to start with a command prompt. You don't have to be at a privileged uh, administrator command prompt. Just a standard command prompt will do it. And we issue the command nslookup. Now you can type nslookup and tell it where you what you want it to look up and all that on one line. Um, I tend to do it this way because I'll look up more than one thing. And this gives me a little more information. So it tells me my default server, DC3 at YVCC or dot YVCC.local, and the IP address. Now if I want to look up a record... All I have to do is type the record name, www.google.com, and it will go look it up. And I get a response from this server, the one that I'm using here. This is a non-authoritative answer, which means this server here doesn't own it, but it went out and did a bunch of recursive queries and found it. And here's my google.com and its IPv6 address and its IPv4 address. So. Just by typing in the name, I can go find the address uh, that I'm looking for, and that verifies for me that um, my DNS lookups are working, and then I do have that record. Now, a reverse lookup, I'd put in the IP address and hope to get a name back. So 172.217.3.196, and that reverts or resolves back to... This right here. Now you'll notice, by the way, this is not the same as Google.com. That's because Google.com translates here, but it's actually hosted on this specific uh, device. So, well, this instance of it is. It's hosted at that location. And it does tell me, by the way, that I'm hitting a Google server that's in Seattle. Okay, um, so I've done a regular lookup and a reverse lookup. I can also specify which type of lookups that I want. So I can say, let's say I want to look at um, just the uh, NS records. So I'm going to do set type equals NS. That's going to give me just my name server records. And I want the name servers for Google.com. And that's going to tell me all of my name servers, NS123 and 4 for Google.com, and then their IP addresses. I can look up an MX record, which is a mail exchanger. Same thing. Set type equals MX. And I want to find the MX records for gmail.com. And so I just set the type, type in the MX records, and here are all of the mail exchange records for gmail.com. Right here, it gives me the MX preference, the mail exchanger, the machine name, and then here it translates the machine name to the IP address. Uh, one last thing with using NS lookup, that is I can change the server. So if I type server, it tells me which one, well, I type server, it tells me I don't know what you're talking about, but it tells me which server right here. So I can change that server. Let's say I wanted to use a server at 192.168.4.12. Then I just type that, and now that's the server that I'm using. Now, there actually isn't a DNS server there. So if I try to do a lookup against that server, it queries it, times out, times out, and says, yep, we couldn't find it. Well, that's because that doesn't actually exist. That's also what I would get if I was looking for a, um, a if I was trying to hit a DNS server that wasn't functioning. All right, when I'm done, I'm just going to exit out and I'm done with NS lookup. So, it's a real quick rundown on how we can use NS lookup to verify our DNS servers and our DNS records.